Guys, welcome to What's Barking Local. My name is Jerry Miller. It's so good to be, be with you. Um, I'm going to take a phrase from Saturday Night Live since we uh -oh. have two <laughs> SNL fans here. It's damn good to be with you guys Woo! on What's Barking Local. This show is powered by Animal Connection. For more than 17 years, Animal Connection has been the epicenter, the water cooler, the go-to for the animal community in Charlottesville and Central Virginia. It's powered by the businesswoman, Woo! the entrepreneur, Patty. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen. You're scaring me. <laughs> Judah Wickhouse, our director. Judah, two shot, two shot, two shot. Patty Bowden, Kim Pasa. How are you? Uh, doing well. I thoroughly enjoyed this program. I've heard from many folks that we have fantastic on air chemistry. Oh, yes. My friend, the yes. show is yours. Ah, well, we're going to talk about the week that was, yes. and it was a huge week, especially for our pals at Caring for Creatures because we sent over a huge truck of nearly a ton of dog and cat food. Uh, the total count was 1,896 pounds, which will feed their dogs. Hello, yeah. So, um, you know, that's a really nice donation, and I think Judas got some pictures of um, Mary and, yes. and me in the store with that big old stack of food. And then we also have to thank the Kravanskis, who are some of Mary's very loyal volunteers, and they came, yep, there they are. They came over and um, they loaded all that stuff up and took it to Caring for Creatures, and they're, they're just so giving with all of their time. And we want to thank a lot of people that donated foods. I mean, some from our customers and some from brands like Fromm and Veros and Signature, from Sherry that was on the show last week, and from Origin. And, you know, it's just great to be able to help a small rescue group like that do big things. So, that's the biggest thing from last week. That's amazing. And that's yeah. a huge stack of food. It is. How it, many trips yeah. did it take to load? How many vehicles did you need? They loaded it in one pickup truck. Get out of town. It was stacked beyond belief. I mean, in back seats, in front seats. I mean, just, it was bursting at the seams. But they did it. They got it in it. there. I love it. So. She told us on this show that your efforts and the efforts of Animal Connection and your trades partners, mm -hmm. a month and a half of food covered for caring for creatures. Yeah. That's and, amazing. And when, when you think about that, I mean, you know, a lot of people donate at Christmas, but it runs out. So, you know, they have needs all during the year. So, you know, if anybody ever wants to donate during the year, they can come see us. We know what kind of foods that they use, and we can use our wholesale buying power to buy them more food than they could possibly get by just someone buying a bag. So, you know, we're, we're able to help all through the year. I love it. I love it. And what else do we have? Oh, Madame? my goodness. Well, uh, we have Pints for Pups at Three Notch Brewery. That's tomorrow uh, on the patio from 5 till 8. There are beer specials and dog treats. So um, dog treats from Animal Connection. So that's um, every Thursday for the rest of August. Um, we have, I don't know if you can see this on screen, Scott Wagner. Who's, who's got your back? That's a well, good tagline. Yeah, yeah it is. I think I know who did it, That's too. That's a good tagline. <laughs> oh, yeah. Um, the block party is Friday the 23rd, and they've asked Animal Connection to participate as one of the vendors. And bring your dogs, because there's going to be frozen yogurt dog treats. There's going to be uh, all kinds of yummy goodies for them. Scott's uh, group is going to do... Uh, a best in show, and it's not a costume contest, it's just who's the coolest dog there. Um, a pet posture contest and a cool zone for pets. So they're gonna have swimming pools and and that that happens at 7.30, but the block party goes from 5.30 to 9. Um, you can find this on our Facebook page and probably on Jerry's Facebook page. Yes. And come, there's gonna be beer and pig and Q and mac and cheese and you know why wouldn't you want to go so it's 5 30 to 9 on friday the 23rd oh and music i forget who the bands are but there's going to be music riza lynch says great meeting you patty bowden oh boy <laughs> hello <laughs> give it a like give it a share paulette has shared this four times thank mm -hmm. you paulette oh. um i'm so excited to see you at the block party yeah um i what one of the things that i love about animal connection and patty bowden is everywhere you go there's positive energy there is a spotlight mm -hmm. and a focus on bettering the animal community. And I think mm -hmm. that's why you get um, included and invited to so many things like the Critter Ball. And let's be honest, you are the pioneer 
And oh. the linchpin <laughs> behind Dog Fest, the most fun outdoor party for dogs. And that is coming up soon. We did a count yesterday, and we we're. We've only got five people left that haven't signed up from last year. And last year there were about 45 booths, so it's going to be big. So this is going to happen on Sunday, September 29th at the Ix Art Park. Uh, the amazing Susan Kershaw and I were talking today about, oh, the lineup of food trucks. You might want to come just to eat. It'd be really fun. Uh, the Big Dog Blonde Ale, our signature microbrew with a three-notch brewery, is going to be on tap. And they're donating a dollar from every pint sold to... Uh, Charlottesville SVCA. So it's going to be just a huge event. I love it. I yep. love it. Like and share the channels. Yeah. Like and share the stream. I just got mm. a direct message on I Love Seville from one Sean Horn. Oh. And Sean Horn says yeah. the guest is super awesome. Patty Bowden, roll out the red carpet. Oh, let me do that. Uh, before I do that, I want to do, I want to say one thing. Um, a lot of people have been asking about this algae bloom. And the cyanobacteria that has been found in one of the small lakes in Charlottesville, and now there's another strain of bacteria that has been found in the Ravana River. Nice. Please go to our Facebook page and, and make sure you know all the details. But for now, it's probably a good idea to keep your dogs out of the water. Out of the water. Right. Yeah. There, there's plenty of details on our Facebook page. So now, there we go. Without further ado, you're going to see two Nicely of us. Done. <laughs> I, I meant into these French You're words, really adieu and this. joanne and all this other stuff. You know, we, we speak French. Uh, this is my friend Amy Wixhorn, and we are both friends. We're active in the community, and we are wearing our Seahawks shirts today because we are probably the only two in Charlottesville, <laughs> in Charlottesville, Virginia. So yay for us! It is football season, and we are proudly wearing our our colors. Welcome to the program, Amy. <laughs> Thank you for having me. I'm tickled to be here, especially with another twelfth woman. I yeah. see it. The twelfth, the twelfth team is strong. You guys make the brand look fantastic. <laughs> we, um, we start with um, uh, the same question for all our guests. Amy ah. Wixhorn, the person, what makes you tick, your passions, your hobbies, your interests, who is Amy Wixhorn? So I am a blessed human being to live, first of all, in Charlottesville and know people like you guys. I'm so <laughs> grateful uh, to be able to have been in the nonprofit world here for over 15 years. Mm -hmm. And then I was able to graduate to being an entrepreneur nice. and support nonprofits. So now I sit on several boards in the area, including the Albemarle County Sheriff's Office Foundation, the UVA Women's Midlife Health uh, Group that does such a great event each fall for the community, and the Downtown Business Association. But my uh, passions are my family, my friends, reading, cooking, and just having fun getting to talk to people. I'm a huge extrovert. And Mr. Winston. Oh, my goodness, you guys. I have a Yorkie. Oh. I inherited a, wait a minute, Yorkie. Wait a minute. Sean has a Yorkie. Sean your has accessory. a Yorkie. That's your, that's your man? My husband. Yeah. Okay. So my husband, um, our friends adopted a dog, a very tiny Yorkie, and he said, I think they're going to go ahead and not want that dog in a couple of weeks, and when they do that, we're going to adopt that dog. And you were like, bring them uh, on, baby. No, I no. said no. You said no? I said N to the O. <laughs> I said that is not a dog. I heard that one. <laughs> that is a rat with hair. <laughs> I was so wrong, y'all. I was so wrong. That is the sweetest little angel of my life. He's awesome. <laughs> He's, I call him my shadow. You can see him on my Facebook page. Yep. He's with me all the time. That's one of the benefits of being an entrepreneur. It's getting to be with your pup. Oh, I yeah. love it. I love it. Um, one of the things, I'm going to embarrass you a little bit. Go One right of the ahead. things that I know you as, I know you as a fabulous judge at Dogfest. Thank you for that. That's right. I know you as an incredible ambassador of downtown Charlottesville. Exactly. Um, I know you, was it Discovery Museum? Yes. I know you from your role with the DBAC. And every time my path crosses with yours, I hear the same stuff about Amy Wixhorn. Positive, high yep. energy, loves life, glasses half full, wants to better the community. Absolutely. I appreciate that so much. See, that's why when we, when we, we were going to, what do we put on screen for how do you describe Amy? You, you can't get enough words on screen, you know, to describe Amy. So. I, I totally, <laughs> totally, totally agree. Downtown Charlottesville, mm -hmm. it needs some tender, loving care. We that's do. Right. We Talk do. to us about that, Amy. 
you know, one of the things we're proud about downtown is that we feel like it really is the heart of our community, the historical nature of it. I mean, those of you that have lived here for a long time remember when it was a street, right? So we've made some oh. real investments in our downtown, and we need to keep doing that. We need to have hard conversations and do important work. Um, I think it's important that the world is watching, and it's our moment. It's our moment to step forward and own what we need to work on and keep that going. It's not just a year. It's not just two years. Our whole country needs to get behind having open, difficult conversations and moving all of us together forward but, in you know, meaningful ways. I've seen so much positive PR this year, too. I mean, when just a couple of weeks ago, uh, Charles was named, like, one of the top places to just go and eat. Like, oh, my it? Southern gosh. Living Magazine, or Southern Living Magazine. Like yeah. Right? Yeah. yeah, we're getting positive PR all the time. So it's, it's really well, nice to, to, to have the yin to the yang, you know? And anybody who hasn't been downtown lately, I would say you haven't been downtown because there's such right. a renaissance. There's so many mm. incredible chefs down here. Book? Do you like books? Because, hello, the bookshops. Oh, yeah. Do you like gelato? Do you like coffee? Art. Are you even human? Right. Yes, you can bring your dog with you. Mm -hmm. There are incredible opportunities for shopping for unique gifts. You know, when you're tired of going on Amazon and going to that gift list, you want something unique, come downtown. You're going to have a store like Quilts Unlimited or Rocks, Paper, Scissors. Mm -hmm. They're going to mm -hmm. have really something you haven't seen before and that the person you're gifting hasn't seen before. That's right. So That's come downtown. You're going to love it. It's amazing. I love it. I love there it. How about uh, the role with the DBAC? I'm sure you uh, deal with a lot of uh, characters, a lot of different personalities. Me being one of them. A lot of different <laughs> mindsets. Spotlight that um, experience for us. So I think anytime you're in a volunteer organization, you're dealing with a variety of energies and attitudes. And the trick is to always just remember your mission. Our mission is to bring business downtown and to support the business people that are down here. Because as much as it's a getaway for us or a dinner place for us, there are livelihoods at stake and there are incredible entrepreneurs that are offering us amazing experiences we want to support. So anytime something silly like that comes up, we can all just focus on the essentials, which are how do we help support downtown and get the message out. And that must be really hard, too, because, I mean, every business has got their agenda of how they think they ought to be promoted and then how they think everybody else should be promoting their business. And so for someone like you that can stream like that and make it one focus that unifies everything, that's a huge job. Well, I'm also very lucky because I chair the Christmas parade, the oh, holiday parade. That's a good one. The community parade. You're on Santa's good side. So Santa has told me that downtown is on the nice list. Yeah. Yes. There you go. Thank you, Amy. And he's got his list. We need yep. it, Amy. Yep. <laughs> I love everything about this interview. Let's thank some of the viewers that are watching, like Brittany Cass Stevens, like um, Debbie Crosby Lewis, like Carissa. Is it? Hulk over? Hulk over? I'm sorry I'm messing up your last name, Krista. Thank you for watching. Dave Warwick, our buddy. Hey, Dave. Watching Big right Dog now. Um, give it a like, give it a share. <laughs> Riza says, you guys look beautiful in those Seahawk shirts. Go 12s. Um, let me throw this topic to you. Bellamy Brown, Nikki Wooden Chambliss, John Wyatt, Neil Williamson, welcome to the show. Um, your mindset, your migration into entrepreneurship. I love to celebrate small business owners and entrepreneurs. Patty Bowden does as well. Um, <laughs> talk to us about that. So for me, as with so many people, it came from a need. I um, got Bell's palsy twice. So Bell's palsy is when one side of your face is paralyzed. Wow. And I woke up in 2002 as a new person in Charlottesville. I had gone to UVA, so I wasn't brand new to Which Charlottesville. Idea? I didn't know that. I'm a who from 92. Get out. I'm a who. Oh. Let's talk about age. 92, but uh, it was. A I babe. loved UVA. I know, but I woke up <laughs> and I moved back, and I still didn't even have a regular doctor. I'd literally just been here for two weeks, and my right side of my face was completely paralyzed. My eye was frozen open. I couldn't eat properly. Fortunately, I had an incredible doctor that got me in, and he told me the truth. They have no idea what to do about it and gave me steroids and antivirals and told me to rest with two small children at home and unpacking a house. Mm. Question, question mark? Right. Hashtag no. <laughs> right. But after about nine months, I got out of the eye patch because your eye does freeze open. You have to sleep in an eye patch. Wow. Fast forward to 2017, I got it again. Went back to the doctor, so excited. Now they're going to have the Bell's Palsy pill. It's going to be incredible. No, they don't. 
They still don't have any idea. Maybe autoimmune, maybe stress. I didn't feel stressed. So I started searching out why I, of all people, I'm very blessed I don't have a stressful job. I don't work in firefighting. I'm not exposed to chemicals all the time. Oh, wait. Please tell me they didn't tell you to stop drinking coffee. I am exposed to chemicals all the time. Oh, thank God they didn't tell me to stop drinking coffee. If y'all are on my stream right now, you know Mama likes her coffee. (laughs) Yes, that would have been a hard no. Um, But what I learned was I was exposed to chemicals every day, all day. And so this started my business of non-toxic living and Young Living Essential Oils. And we've just launched CBD. So I'm enjoying that tremendously. I have about 70 people in the community that do it with me after just a couple months, mm-hmm. and we're having a good time. Give Amy Wicks Horn a like and a share on any of these Facebook pages you're watching. Patty Bowden, jump oh, in. Oh, yeah. Here. Well, I'm, I, you know, the Young Living Oils are fantastic, and we use them so frequently in our store, in our grooming. Um, they are certified organic, so they can be used internally and externally. And, uh, you know, just the effect that they have on dogs and people. I mean, for instance, the lavender. When we're grooming dogs and they're really afraid, we'll put young living oils on cotton balls and put those, put them in their ear so the dogs smell that aroma. They're getting calmed, and then they can't hear the dryers as well. I mean, so cool little things like that that we've learned from this, these kinds of essential oils. And we were just talking uh, before the show about the one that you have called purification. And this is not for this poisonous bacteria, but sometimes dogs in the summer will get uh, like a simple staph infection. This is not like the big bacteria that's going on. But what you can do is you can take some of the oil, like the purification or the lavender, and put some in some water and give them a rinse with it. And then you don't have those scratchy itchies that come from like funky pond water or, or grasses in the fall or anything like that. You know, there's so many uses for people and pets, and, you know, they work well for Amy's life and and for the dogs, too. I love it. Yeah. I love it. How about um, new to Charlottesville, um, mm-hmm. had not found a doctor yet, we're moving into a house, two kids, okay? Oh, boy. Your mindset um, throughout all this. I think what I was really... The good, the bad, the ugly. Yeah, I think, first of all, you want to know you're not having a stroke. So anybody out there who's had Bell's palsy knows that the symptoms present extremely like a stroke. But I may not be a doctor, but I have watched them on TV. There you go. (laughs) Uh, That's so scary and so true. We all do that, right? So what did I do? I called my potential doctor, the doctor I had an appointment with. And I explained that my pupils were not unequally dilated, and I could move my tongue, and I could move my hands. She has watched Grey's Anatomy. I have watched Grey's Anatomy. (laughs) And um, he said, I think I know what's wrong with you. I don't believe it's a stroke. Get your kids on the school bus and come straight here. So I was lucky in that, um, and this is one of the reasons I volunteer with UVA, is because, let's be clear, I am blessed right? So Mm -hmm. I was scared. I had a number to call. I had a place to go. I had insurance to cover it. I had a friend to pick my children up off the bus. You know, would I have preferred not to have gotten Bell's palsy? You better believe it. But am I in a much more powerful position than most of my sisters in our community? Oh, yeah. And that is unacceptable. Mm -hmm. And Mm -hmm. we, as those that have those numbers to call, have a responsibility to reach back and help and connect and create opportunities for health care for our sisters that don't have regular access to those, whether it's a mammogram, whether it's a phone call when you're sick, whether it's needing a prescription when you don't have money. And that's what we do with UVA Women's Midlife Health is we try to create an opportunity where people in the community can learn what's available for them, especially women. Because women will lead families, right? So if I've got good health care and I get that it's helping me, I can then pass that on to my children. So it was scary. Um, sleeping with an eye patch is not very attractive. You have to tape your eyes shut. Mm-hmm. Um, pizza was out of my life for a while, and I don't know about you guys, but I find that unacceptable. Oh, man. <laughs> uh, you know, so there were certainly challenges, and I was grateful th- for the support of family and friends. Side note, my dad told me to tell my kids that's what happened to the mother's face when the children lied to them for the thousandth time. I did not do that. <laughs> oh, gosh. Um, Amy, you're hilarious. But, you know, it's one of those situations where you have to look at the glass half full because it's the only way to get to the other side. And you can have a moment. Everybody can have a moment. If you're going through a hard time right now, you take a beat. But then you get right back up. Because if you can get up, you've got to get up and you've got to pull others behind you up with you. And... 
when it happened again, I had the same level of support, if not more. And I've never been more grateful to be able to smile and to close my eyes. Um, and so I value things a lot more, I think. You're a rock star. Now that that's is a sizzle, a sizzle reel. reel. <laughs> sizzle reel that. That was rock star right there. Oh Give boy. <laughs> Amy Wicks Horn a like and a share. We will well thank said. some of the viewers that are watching right now. Um, Gretchen Thomas, um, Debbie Lewis, Tisha Hill. Welcome Tisha. to Tisha Hill. Welcome to the program. Patty Bowden, Patty Bowden, jump in here. Oh my gosh, I don't even know where to start. I'm just I'm just so impressed with Amy just being a warrior. You know, and she is. She's a warrior. I mean, not only in business, but in her personal life. And, you know, what a great model, you know, to, to learn from and be inspired by. Um, Tasha says, yay, Amy. I am so effing proud of you. I think I added the effing right there. She just said, <laughs> I know I'm you so did. I know you, you did. <laughs> uh -oh. um, I am so effing proud of you. I'm saying this. You're just a breath of fresh air. Always are, always have been. Um, how about the journey down uh, the entrepreneurship road? I love the line. It was um, a business birthed out of necessity. Yes. Well, one of the things that I always want to share with people is I can help you figure out how to get where you want to be as an entrepreneur because I've failed. I have failed in every way a human can fail. I've screwed up. I've messed up. And I've figured out along the way how to make that a platform to learn from and build on. So my story isn't about perfection or just, you know, like, I don't know what happened. I just told some people about oils and now I have a business. <laughs> it's not that My easy. story right. is about consistency <laughs> right. and a passion. Um, somebody told me recently that the biggest sin in the desert is knowing where the water is and not sharing that knowledge with somebody. I found the water. I figured out how to get toxins out of my life how I could stop getting sick all the time. Mm -hmm. I haven't been to the doctor in two years for a sick visit. Yes. That's very unusual for me. And I mean, and when the way people are now, I mean, you know, work, uh, overscheduling kids, this and that, the other people's immune systems are shot yep. on a daily basis. I mean, just being able to know like the better choices for your diet and exercise and things that you know, relax your mind and, and make you happy and, and things like this to, to support your immune system. I mean, it, people put themselves last yep. all the time. And, you know, there are a lot of times where you just need to put yourself first and, you know, take care of yourself, people. Well, Christy right? French Ramsey, mm -hmm. great job, Amy. You are crushing it. You are a warrior. Thank you. I miss you. It's good to hear <laughs> from you. I'll also say that I think it was easier than I thought it was being oily in my life, right? So I use soap from Young Living mm -hmm. instead of my Crabtree and Evelyn soap. I use uh, CBD oil to sleep instead of Benadryl. I use Thieves hand purifier instead of regular hand sanitizer. It's mm -hmm. not like I have a whole new set of things I have to do all the time. Right. It's just instead of this, I use that. It's just like instead of drinking healthy drinks, I drink coffee. So I still need to work. I still need to work on my health. It's a healthy I still drink. need to work on my life. <laughs> but I love um, the best thing about entrepreneurship is people like Patty. It's meeting rock stars who have gone before you and are reaching back and are teaching and mentoring and gifting in the community. And this guy right here. Yes. Yes, and, and having cool conversations where people can be real instead of like, you know, the best news is everything's right. perfect. Yeah. No, it's not. It's a know. hot mess, y'all. And that's okay. We're all a hot mess sometimes. That's right. And you it's really nice amazing. to have a support system, too, because, I mean, I've, I'm already hearing about uh, one store that was sort of similar to mine gone. I mean, just out of nowhere yeah. gone. And I'm already hearing words about another one getting ready to just dissolve. I mean, it's tough out there and you have to be able to have really good business people are out here that are willing to share information and talk about, you know, how tough it is, how they got over these tough times. I mean, you, you need to have people around that will share. I mean, not, and not just hold it all in for themselves. That's not fair. Um, yeah. We right. will thank mm -hmm. some of the folks watching, Patty. All right. Um, folks like Jessica Branch, um, like Laura Mulvaney, Margaret Woods Brown, <laughs> Colleen Wise Owens, um, give it a like and a share. Your man's watching. Hi, hon. <laughs> How about some uh, attention for Sean? Aww. So one of the things that's hard when you're an entrepreneur is 
let's be honest, y'all, it's all about money. <laughs> so I am, first of all, grateful that I have a chance to go out on my own. Any endeavor, any business that you start, it's going to be ramp up time. Yeah. So I have support in that way. And then it's also, right, it's a new thing. It's kind of different, this oily lifestyle. Mm -hmm. um, you know, before I go to bed, I'm putting a diffuser on. It helps me sleep. And when I brush my teeth, I'm using, well, he's right there beside me. And that awesome. goes a long way when you have your partner who is learning with you, supporting you, sharing your message as well, the message as well, because he, of all people, really appreciates the value of health. You know, uh, I was married to Sean when I got sick the second time. And it was a real blessing to have a partner like that who could step up and help out and carry the load. Um, and then now just my biggest cheerleader. That's not always the case. So if you don't have a cheerleader, you got people like me and Patty to cheer for you. But <laughs> if you're lucky like me, you get somebody like Sean. I love everything about this. And <laughs> I think um, I'm going to throw this to you, Patty. I think sometimes entrepreneurship and running a small business it can, there are times where you feel like a sense of uh, hopelessness or a sense of uncertainty or you doubt yourself. And, and, mm -hmm. and that is just normal and just human because this is hard. It's, it is, but it, you know, it gives you the opportunity to sit down and, you know, and think on paper. I mean, I remember when I first started my ad agency, we didn't have computers. We thought on paper. We sketched out our storyboards, our concepts, little drawings about this, and we really thought out the entire concept. Who was, you know, who was it going to affect? What, what could we get out of this? We did it all on paper, and now people are just, it's whatever the computer will do, that's what we're going to do. And I really miss that because business people really need to sit down. Mm -hmm. You know, some people call it vision boards or whatever, but you need to... You need to figure out, if I'm going to do this, if I'm going to de um, devote 20 hours of my day or sleepless nights or my funds to doing a business, you really need to think about that because, you know, it's, it's an investment in time and emotions and stability and a lot of other things. And if it doesn't mean the world to you, don't do it. You can't do Amen. this. You can't do a business like that halfway. Well, just, and you know work. what else I would say, Jerry? Pick your heart. If you're listening to my voice right now and you're at a job you hate, pick your hard. There is something else out there for you. Nobody deserves to be miserable 40, 60, 80 hours a week. No. It is okay to take risks. It is okay to fail. It is okay to get stressed. But it is not okay to be miserable and do nothing. Right. You have got to pull yourself up by your bootstraps and find something, like Patty said, that just lights you on fire. If you're awake at night going, ooh, I wonder what other blend I could use in my rollerball. That, <laughs> you're in the right job if you're me, right? Like, I dream right. about it. I love it. I have fun with it. And Patty does the same with the way she cares for all our animals and helps our community care for our animals. And we both have people that inspire us about business, too. For instance, who's our favorite coach? I mean, Pete Carroll's book on business and how to succeed. I mean, he has been through some tough stuff when he was a football coach at University of Southern Cal yeah. and having some hard times. And all right, we promised we weren't going to talk about But you're that bringing play, it up, y'all. But I'm not going to talk about do it. Do you but feel everybody it? that knows... Marshawn Lynch, do not but, listen. Cover but, your ears. I know. We, we still love Beast the Mode, we love there. you. <laughs> but still, for him to come back after that and say, all right, I messed up. Plan B, we're going to go forward. And to be able to release the, the bad feelings of that and go forward. I mean, there's, there's a lot of lessons uh, in his book called Win Forever that I have used in business. Yep. I love and it. And it's, it's a really well, a good Well, and no matter book. what level you're at, it's right. okay. You may fail. You, know, you probably will. And then just learn from that, release it, and move on. Right. Um, Brandy McCarley, um, so true, Amy, pick your heart. I love that. Pamela Kennedy Gower is watching in South Carolina. Hi, Amy, you are truly an amazing person. Missing you. I'm sending love from Aww. Hilton Head. We miss you guys. Tell Sh Charlie we said hey. Sean Horn, <laughs> your man. Amy, you are an, and he is saying this, you're an effing rock star. It is all Amy. Don't mistake who is awesome. It is Amy who is awesome. Thank you, babe. 
Um, I just love <laughs> nice. the vibe of this show. I really, this is a great <laughs> well, guest you picked. This is how we hang out. Yeah. We, we, this is coffee and a talk. Yeah, talk right? to us about, and, and <laughs> you, you have made this so easy. Give it a like, <laughs> give it a share on any of the seven channels you're watching this show on. Talk to us about the business, the who, what, when, where, why, how we can get engaged, how we can learn more. So the trick with essential oils is it's a little bit hot right now. Right, like people are kind of starting to get, if you, if you haven't heard about it, essential oils are literally the lifeblood of a plant. Mm -hmm. And it's what a lot of our pharmaceuticals have been derived from. So lemon, lavender, and peppermint have replaced my Claritin Singular Nasocort. I don't get the toxins from those drugs. I don't have to pay for those prescriptions and go to mm -hmm. the store and get them every month. And I feel better about what I'm putting in my body. But the reason those were the substitutes for those oils is that's how pharmaceuticals can mass produce the medicines they're giving us. There is an epidemic of over-medication in our country here, and here. the toxins that we, I was taking 18 gabapentin a day, 18 for I nerve pain. I don't know what that is, but I don't like the sound of it's it. It's for nerve pain. Okay. And now I do one roller ball. I'm off of all of that. I'm off of six prescriptions. So the lifeblood of the plant can help us restore our body to its normal balance. And this so, isn't new information. This no. has been used for thousands of years. Oils were right? found in King Tut's tomb. Right. So, right. So this is going back, right? Mm -hmm. Nobody's grandmother said chew on a clove if you have a toothache. My grandma did. She would be laughing so hard right now. Um, <laughs> and the cool thing about it is that I chose, after a lot of research, to partner with Young Living because they have what's called the seed to seal guarantee. And let me tell you why this is important. What I'm worried about is friends not letting friends buy essential oils at the grocery store. Just like anything else in your life, ingredients count, quality counts. And so as long as you know what you're getting is really good quality, go for it. But don't do any of the things that I've talked about if you don't know the quality of your oil. So seed to seal guarantee means we own the seal. We own the land, we own the distillation process, mm -hmm. we own the bottling. We know and we test 23 different times to be sure that oil is of the grade that we want to put out into the world. And then the easy part is just use it, enjoy it, share your story. That's how the business grows. And like I said, we have about 70 people locally. Uh, we have people all over 143 countries. It's uh, in five years, we're working to have zero carbon footprint, so it doesn't mean you have mm -hmm. to be mean to the earth. It's important to us. We have farms on every continent, and um, our most recent innovation is the CBD oil, and that's mm -hmm. been a really hot market. Um, but just like anything else, CBD is kind of the Wild West right now. The oh trick is to find quality CBD. I'm headed for, the, they call it Super Zoo, but it's, it's the, the second of the two big international national trade shows. For the one in products. Atlanta, right? No this, no, this one is in Las Vegas. Las Vegas, okay. right. It is big, but I cannot even tell you, I'm going to count how many booths of new CBD products are going to be there. It is just rampant, but you know, like you said, I mean, we're very picky and ours is you know, farm, farm to product there right you there. Go. You know, we are tight and what we're going to offer. I love it. Yeah. That's I huge. Love it. Well, it. and for pets, it makes such a big difference, right? A lot of times pets They're can't tell us. Yeah, yeah I personally have found it great for sleep. Mm -hmm. um, this is certified with no THC because right. it's made from an isolate, right. which means it's only made from hemp. It doesn't touch marijuana at all. Right. And it's uh, my favorite is actually the muscle rub. Is that so isolate or, you full, guys, or full spectrum? So isolate is what we have. Full spectrum hey. means that it does contain some THC. Ours contains zero THC. Right. So it's safe for testing. But, you know, do a little workout too much. You guys should nab some of this before mm -hmm. you go. Uh, it's great for anxiety for pets. You know, if your pet's going to the groomer and they're totally stressed out, a little of this can make a big difference. Absolutely. Oh Fourth of July. Fourth of July, thunderstorms. Yeah. Separation anxiety. Relatives in yeah. your house, trips, vacations. Yeah. Ever gone to work and come Exuberant home to no children. window sills? <laughs> Yep. You know, and our pets deserve yeah. better. They deserve to be stress free to the right. extent that we can make a safe place for them. Um, and so do we. You know, that's, I think uh, Patty does a really great job of curating what's available. Well, and the thing about these two, you can make your own recipes, you can make your own flea and tick spray. You don't need the stuff I've got on my shelves. Make your own. The things to keep their teeth clean, things to put on their 
the pads or their feet to keep them soft. I mean, there are so many things that you can make, and they're very free about giving you recipes for for anything you could think of. You know, share the information, not just keep it a secret. Tim Cotton says, hello, um, Amy, how are you? <laughs> um, you're getting props from Lois Lee. Lois Lee says, hello to all. This is a great show, great <laughs> stuff going on. Uh, Tasha mm -hmm. says, holy crap, I didn't know about your nerve pain. That's a lot of pills. <laughs> right, sis? Uh, yeah. <laughs> give it a like, give it a share, guys, on any of the streams that you're watching. You have filled 40 minutes, and it's made it Easy peasy. Eric Lamb, I have it on good faith that Santa loves all things Amy Wigshorn. Oh, that means a lot to me. <laughs> um, this is what we're going to do. This show has been so good. We are going to archive this show on animalconnectionva.com. Yep. We're going to archive this show on ilovesevil.com. We're going to turn it to a podcast on iTunes by the end of the day today. So you can watch this show at your leisure. You can watch this show in your car or put your earbuds in and listen to it on this bad boy. <laughs> Amy Share with your friends. <laughs> one more, and then we're going to throw it to Patty. One more um, way we can, uh, one more time of how we can engage with your business. So... Find me on Facebook. You're already on my live stream, possibly. That's Amy Wicks Horn. I also have Instagram of Amy Wicks Horn and a site called Your Oily House. So we always say that our information, as Patty said, we share it a lot, comes from our oily house to your oily house. And, of course, I have a website with Young Living. Um, three events every month locally we have that are free and available to everybody where you can come and learn. The first next one is uh, going to be Friday at the Dunlora Clubhouse. You can come and learn all about CBD and check it out. Uh, and then we also have uh, continuing education, and we have new stuff for people anytime. So reach out to me, especially on social media. My email is amywicks at comcast.net, and this is what I do. Is I love helping people get better, feel better, have more energy, sleep better, and just have a better life. Gosh. Amber Rexrod <laughs> says, hi, Patty, and hi, Amy. <laughs> Pam Garrison from Country 99.7 WCYK is watching. She says, you guys are amazing. Amy, you are amazing. Patty Bowden, as always, you have the final one. Well, I'm just going to um, close with just something else. Um, so, you know, we're always looking to the rescue groups and the nonprofits in the world, and we want to get the word out about what they are doing. And... Um, the people at House, House's Wooden Straw, got in touch with me yesterday, and they, you know, it's getting ready to be fall, which means winter's coming, and they're trying to get lumber and thing and supplies ready to help dogs in need with, you know, straw, dog houses, whatever it is they need to get dogs safe places and warm places to sleep. And um, they're trying to, they need a truck, and they have partnered with uh, a dealer in town who is going to help them out greatly, but they they have had a big goal to raise funds for this. They are only three thousand dollars short, and so this if you you know if you've got ten bucks to spare and you want to help some dogs upcoming for the winter, this would be a cool thing to do. And um, I think I gave Judah a yeah, cake, it's on right, it's yeah. on right. You can contact them, and they would be very grateful for anything that you can do and you know and that's my story and I'm sticking to it. They're that's, an amazing that's organization. The they are. are. Stacy Norris and company so, are crushing it. Stacy is the best. And she's gonna be on the show in October. How about uh the yeah. toughest question I'm gonna ask you all day? Who's, uh, who's on the show next Wednesday? Next Wednesday. I'm sorry, I always ask you this question. Nobody, because I'm Oh, that's be right. In, You're in Vegas. I'm going to be in Vegas. That's right. I, so we're doing a best of. We're going to do a best of. You know of. how she does going to Vegas. She's cosmopolitan. Well, She's going to Montana, Atlanta, and Las Vegas yeah, in the last, what, 60 this is, days? This is different. I can't say exactly well, what. Well, can I say it? I, well, you can't name the t Can title. I say why you're going? Yes. She is. Can I say it? Yep. She is winning an award <gasps> for the National Pet Store Top Retailer in the Country Award. That's amazing. How about it? The Chris. number one pet retailer in the nation is owned and operated by this lady right here sitting next to us. Hold for, on one second. For social media and marketing. Ow! You're a hot lady. Woo, woo. Time for some likes and some hearts with that. Drop Gosh. a heart yeah. for Patty, you guys. That's well, amazing. It's, it's partially your award, too, because this is for social media and marketing and, no, this and the show. You. So we're going to be there, and I... I may be sending in some live feeds from my Facebook uh, on my Facebook page of, of cool products and, and whatever we find. But um, but yeah, congratulations! So, That's amazing. It's amazing. It's it's you know it's it is a big deal, and and we have 
Well, you and I have worked worked your ASS off. Yeah, we have. We've worked hard for it. So (laughs) I'm, as much as I really hate long plane flights and I really hate going to Las Vegas in the dead of summer, I'm going to go. What are you going to have a cocktail? On the no, way yes, you are. No, I'm There's not. an oil I for that. I, I, I don't have cocktails in the air. I've got your peace and calming headaches. oil. I'll get you covered. Oh, no, I'm, I'm totally calm. <laughs> totally calm. But I may have a little something when I get there. There okay. you go. I, I, don't, I, I don't in We've the air. We've been known to yep. enjoy a bourbon. Oh, oh, yes. I love bourbon. We, we're, we're also we're bourbon, bourbon sisters. sisters. I love bourbon. Yep. What's y'all's yeah. bourbon of choice? Knob Creek. Knob On Creek a regular good. day, Woodford yeah. Reserve. What, dang. Yeah. Yeah, I roll it A regular here. day. What's, What's a non regular day? Probably some Bullet. Bullet is good. Okay. Woo-hoo. Okay. I like Angel's Envy and Elijah Craig. Ooh, um, you like the tough stuff. I like, I, it is, I, I do like it to put a little, like, yeah, I like zing. that little, bur- yeah, yeah, I do like that, I do like <laughs> I'm that. I'm not going to lie, I think Pappy's overrated, I said it in public, I apologize right now. See, you just never know oh, what so we're going to talk about on What's Sparking Local. Here we are talking about bourbon, <laughs> yeah. bourbon, beer, Las Vegas, yeah. you know, it's, you know. I it, think that's what makes the show great. It relates great. to dogs in some way or another. <laughs> <laughs> uh, this show powered by Animal Connection for more than 17 years. Patty Bowden and Animal Connection in the McIntyre Plaza have been the epicenter for positive in the animal community across Charlottesville and Central Virginia. Support small businesses. Support locally owned businesses. Support Animal Connection and the McIntyre Plaza. You go, you go into this <laughs> store, you get everything you need, and you come out smarter. Okay? You don't find that at other places. Certainly not online. Animal Connection, McIntyre Plaza, Bark Local. Patty Yay. Bowden, Amy Wixhorn, Jerry Miller. We'll see you next week. Yay. <laughs> Good work. Nice. Good work. Way to go. It was easy peasy. 45 <laughs> minutes. This is one of the best shows we've got. Oh, so easy. It's so easy to talk to. So easy to talk to. Uh, That's the point that we got to